let's take a look at how to upload your long answer format questions onto Gradescope. So you may have uh, anywhere from one to six pages of answers you might need to upload that are uh, long answer style. So you, you may see a midterm and a long answer portion of your, of your midterm on Gradescope and that's okay. To, to simply to submit your long answer questions, you're going to go into the long answer portion. And this is exactly what I'm talking about here. You see we have multiple choice and we have the long answer. So the multiple choice will be taken exclusively on Gradescope. Um, you'll be able to answer the questions on there and you won't need to turn in, um, therefore, you're not going to turn in any um, documents as a part of that. But for the long answer, you're going to turn in one PDF with all of the different pages of answers on it. So once you've got that, um, once you've got that PDF, and we we've posted a video on how to um, how to scan your documents, and even, we even mentioned a few good programs to use for either iOS or Android. So go ahead and click on um, the PDF there. Uh, I wouldn't recommend trying it with with JPEG. You may be able to get that done, but we're recommending you use PDF. So select PDF, and you're just going to pick the file that you saved on your computer that is basically that is basically your answer. So where, where I have that here is right here, I've saved it. I'm just going to double click, upload PDF. Very simple. And now you just need to assign the pages to questions. Once you can see your pages, you can click on a page. You should see a check mark and then you click on the question and it assigns that page to that question. Let's rinse and repeat. Click on page two, answer question two. Now, if these are out of order, that's okay. If page two is there, you could have clicked with page two and clicked on question page two. Mine are in order. Page four, question four. And just one left click does the job here for each click. Great, now that they're all done, my screen's hiding the submit button, so I'll minimize it to show you what I got here. You're just going to going to hit that submit button right there. One left click, does the job. And now you, it says you get a receipt to, to your email as well. You'll get a little notification. And then also make sure that the pages you intended to upload are actually here. And you're not going to have the page number written over the middle of the page like that. We're going to have post some template for you uh, to write your name and ID and section number. But I, I wrote the page number big in the middle for your reference and you can see uh, what page goes with what question. Great. So once, once you're, you're at that point, you're good. From there, the TAs and instructor can see your answers and we'll grade it on our end. Now, you may all also notice there's a little resubmit button down here. So if the test isn't quite over yet, you can uh, reselect your pages and resubmit if you made a mistake. But that resubmit button is going to go away um, after the exam deadline is over. And you even have the option here to download the original copy of the PDF that you uploaded and you can check your submission history. These are all things the student will be able to do. So good luck this quarter. If you have any questions, just let your TA know uh, once you find out who your TA is.